All right, everyone, here we are with ticker symbol WKHS Workhorse Group Inc. To all my first time viewers and investors, welcome to my channel, Invest for Tomorrow. To all my subscribers, welcome back and let's jump into this chart. So, Workhorse Group Inc. has had some volatility in the last couple of days and it's been in an up and down direction. I mean, it's been hitting newer highs, which is a good sign since the month of September because it wasn't a sideways movement after a bullish run. It was in a sideways movement till September. It ran up. It fell quickly. It ran up again towards the end of it. It started falling and now we just spiked up in the middle of October and now we're falling quickly again. I mean, Workhorse has been very volatile in the last couple of weeks and the last couple of days. A lot of up and down. Spikes are being hit. And honestly, this hit a high here of about $30. Uh, and it was not that far from its highest point up at $31. And it missed it by cents and quickly got rejected. So $30 and some change right now is a very important resistance level. I know $31 is the highest point and it's important as well. But $30.50 right now basically is one of the hardest resistance levels for this stock to break through because it's getting rejected fairly quickly as it got closer to it and as it reached it and it didn't even get past that at all before that and in the last couple of days. I mean, this dip really fast. We're talking about it hit a dip of $8 in two days. And now there's a slight recovery. Now, are the bulls really reappearing or are the bulls just appearing in a way that it's kind of stopping this stock from falling even harder? Or are the bears just going to come and they're going to tear this apart? That's the question. We're already below the 50-day moving average. So let's move our support levels and resistance levels to their new locations and see what the charts are showing. So 50-day moving average is one of the most important numbers right now due to the fact that the 50-day moving average needs to get crossed. And that is 2640. 2640 needs to be broken through so that the bulls can get back in control and we can end up back in bullish territory as of right now the stock is in bearish territory the bears definitely reappeared and they destroyed this chart in a downward direction they haven't destroyed the complete chart but they destroyed it for the day for sure i mean this started to hit newer lows fairly quickly and it just leveled off with the reappearance of the bulls slightly coming in and right now it's at 23.57. But I mean, we started the day obviously way over here at around $27. I mean, it dropped four more dollars and it dropped $3 in some change yesterday. Now we're kind of far away from the 50 day moving average, about a $3 difference. So the bulls have to load up on stocks to get back up there. Remember, bulls don't have control until they break through the 50 day moving average. This resistance level that I'm going to talk about. It's just a sense of direction. Does not mean that the bulls have gained control or that they're starting to dominate the chart again. So for the bulls to start creating momentum and showing a sense of direction and an upward trend, they need to break through this resistance level. And that resistance level is 2381. Once 2381 is broken through and turned into a support, again, the bulls don't have control. That's just going to show us a sense of direction as investors. They need to start pulling away from it as much as possible to get closer to the 50 day moving average now once they break through the 50 day moving average which is 2640 then the bulls have started creating that opportunity to gain momentum and control over the chart they need to break away from the 50 day moving average in an upward direction as much as they can super important for the bulls they need to get back on the other side of this chart if not, the bears are right now dominating and they have leverage to continue tearing this one down. But before getting up here, the bulls do need to break through 2381, turn that into a support and break away to hit newer highs and reach newer levels of resistance. So that is important for the bulls. Now, on the other hand, we have what the bears want. And the bears are dominating this chart as of right now. They've been showing it since yesterday because Literally, you could see it in the behavior of the stock chart. The bears appeared and the bulls appeared leveling off, but the bears have already ended up fairly close to the 50 day moving average from the beginning of the day to towards the end of the day. And that's what the bears wanted. 
They exhausted the bulls, and now they appeared, and they tore it down. Now there's a slight leveling off. The question is, will the bears actually reappear and get exhausted, and the bears bring this one down to newer lows? Or will the bears appear fairly quickly? They know that they are, the bears have control, and they have control over the chart, and they're just going to tear this one down to newer lows as quick as possible. I mean, you can clearly see it in the behavior that the bears have been dominating even before crossing the 50-day moving average, and now they they actually uh, went ahead and, and broke through it and hit newer lows. So they are on a rampage right now. The bears are taking over. So let's go ahead and see here. And this is something I want to emphasize to all investors. Super important. If the bears break through this support, pay very close attention to how this stock is reacting. How quickly is it moving to newer lows? Is it actually moving in a sideways direction and the bulls are trying to reappear? Because the reappearance of the bulls until they break through the 50 day moving average does not mean anything. The bulls can reappear and if they don't break through the 50 day moving average, that does not signify that the bulls have gained control. Now, if the bears break through 2238, which is our support, and they're hanging out sideways and the bulls reappear, that's a good sign of recovery and momentum that could be built to get closer to the 50 day moving average, working towards their goal to get back into bullish territory. But I'd pay very close attention to how the stock is reacting at 2238. How quickly is it moving to newer lows? Who is dominating the chart? Put your one minute, five minute, 15 minute charts to see who is in control. Are the bears dominating the chart or are the bulls dominating the chart? Look at the inflow and outflow of stocks and that way, you guys as investors will be well equipped with these cues, plus looking at those informative decision making uh, analysts, right? Those different tools that are in there for you to look at in the charts to make your decisions as investors. So I want to emphasize to all investors that breaking through this does not mean, which is the resistance level that the bulls have gained control. That's just a sign of direction of where this is going and it could build momentum to hit newer highs and reach the 50 day moving average and if it breaks through 2238 i want to emphasize pay close attention to how quickly is it moving to newer lows are the bulls trying to reappear and how the stock is behaving as always if you found this video helpful and informative please do so and subscribe share this with your friends and community don't forget to click on the bell to turn on all notifications so that you don't miss a single video that I post. Don't forget to hit the like button and let me know you watch this video. And at the end of this video, there's going to be a pop-up video. I talk about the S&P 500 index and how it's been rising several points on scheduled dates. On these scheduled dates, the Federal Reserve is pumping the market and causing the S&P 500 to rise up several points. What does that mean for us as investors? Well, if the S&P 500 index is rising up several points, there are ticker symbols within it rising with it. And they're rising anywhere from $0.30 cents to $3 per share. And I know it doesn't sound like a lot, but like I always say, if you put a dollar into the market and you get back $2, you've done a phenomenal job. It's all about making profits. And this strategy is to maximize profits, minimize losses. And I'm just here to inform every investor and viewer on the information that many people are overlooking or are unaware of. And I'm just here to share it with you all. I'm not there to tell you to buy, sell, or hold. I'm just here to inform you guys that there is an opportunity to maximize profits and minimize your losses. Check out the video. I go into more detail about it. Click on the link. It's about to pop up soon. And if it hasn't already, and I hope you guys find that video helpful and informative as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. And let's make some money.